We do have new information tonight uh, in local news about two letters that were sent to a Spokane County prosecutor and judge today, forcing the county courthouse to evacuate. When the judge, uh, the letter to the judge was opened, police say it had some sort of irritant on it that affected eight people and sent three to the hospital. Paramedics evaluated all of them, but everyone is okay, and all of them have now gone home. The second letter sent to the prosecutor's office wasn't opened, but both of them have now been picked up by the FBI. We got a hold of a photo of that letter showing the name Christopher Kane Bay on the return address. We learned Bay is sitting in the Spokane County Jail accused of a drive-by shooting. He also has 11 other prior felonies on his record. When we talked to him, he said he sent a letter to the prosecutor, and tonight Bay's wife is backing up that story. Patrick Erickson actually spoke with her. Now, Patrick, I understand she also said she sent a letter to the judge. Claire, that's right. Speaking exclusively with, exclusively with me earlier tonight, Bay's wife actually said she's the one that sent those two letters, one to a judge, one to a prosecutor here in downtown Spokane. She said she did it on behalf of her husband, who's in jail. However, she, has, she says she didn't put anything inside those envelopes except court paperwork. I would never do that. Not to a human. Not to nobody. This evening, Bay's wife, who did not want her face shown or name used, says she got court documents for her husband, Christopher Kane Bay, notarized on Saturday, then took them to this post office inside of a Spokane grocery store. She says she sealed them in front of the postal worker and sent them registered mail to the prosecutor and judge, both involved in her husband's case. She tells me she was given receipts and photocopies of the two envelopes, which she wrote her husband's name on. She says her husband is unable to file paperwork from his jail cell, so she was doing it on his behalf. Now, she denies putting anything else inside those envelopes, saying that she could never hurt anyone. And I would never do anything.